Yes? Hello? Why do you need to know this? Haven't I repeatedly told you that they're not missing? That they're in Jamrock, safe and well, at some stupid party? A killer party? What is it with you and Pulp Staples, my god? Please, no more talk about my daughters. They are fine. Report what? He's just out drinking with his friends. I'm sure the police has better things to do than to chase down local goofballs. There is no investigation here. I can tell you that. Honestly, not that different from you. Are you a policeman or a nanny? So you are going to look for him. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Very well, then. Where is he? And I specifically added that I didn't need to know where he was. Yes, but... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. What? No, absolutely not. Hello? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. That's one way to put it, yes. No offense. I'd also add he's a little bit chubby. Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. I know you are. What with? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? I, I don't follow. My husband? No, he's not. I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Is there anything else I can help you with? It's okay. We all feel out of sorts at times. There you go, officer. The what now? God damn it, I already told you. My husband isn't missing. Police? I don't follow. Oh, thank God, no. It hasn't come down to this yet. No, no. He is definitely not a cop. I meant that he's a little chubby. That's all. What problem? I don't know. The most talkative one? No, no. My relationship with Disco remains irrefutably healthy. Oh, no. That's not what I meant. You had the strangest what? You truly are one strange cop, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I see. Thanks. They are not missing, sir. From the kiosk? There's one near the harbor. It's a frita. You can look it up. You're right. We do smoke worse than chimneys here. Why do you think that I smoke? Sorry, officer. I already told you I don't have any. Go bother someone else. It's not like yours look much better. No, you don't. No. Why are we still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. Who said anything about shame? Stop talking down to me. My husband is not missing. Yesterday morning, he went to the library. He went to retrieve my book and he promised, he promised, he'd walked straight back home. You both share what? I'm not sure about the rest, but softly round sounds about right. He's not in great shape. I'm sorry. I don't really understand what you're talking about. Fighting for it how? A hug monster? How do these two go hand in hand? Excuse me? A bad husband? What do you mean? <laughs> do policemen just go around repeating what some kid off the street said? No, I don't. I have a good husband. The kind and helpful sort. And he's not missing. Is she now? Can I give you some friendly advice, Mr. Policeman? Don't listen to kids. <laughs> no, I don't. Excuse me? You were right. I do have an alcoholic husband. Although not that one. I did, and he is. He's also an alcoholic. No, he's not. Or maybe he is, I don't know. He's probably in the park, or in Shamrock somewhere, drinking with his friends. Right. What about him? What else? He was wearing a dark brown leather jacket with a bright blue inner lining. The lining is hand-sewn. I made it myself. I guess it's better than nothing. Keep fighting on, my fellow comrade. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something to read. Annette's a sweet sprout, but she doesn't know anything about marriage. Why am I even talking about this? Of course he's not. It's not like he's a pocket watch. I wouldn't just lose him. What? That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. They're with their friends down in Jamrock. There's nothing to worry about. They're almost grown up now anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. 
My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Jenny, she is turning 18 next month. But we shouldn't even be talking about them. Uh, what are you doing, officer? <clears throat> officer? What are you doing? I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? I can't give you what I don't have. No, I'm not lying. Why should I lie? Please go to the Frita kiosk. What is happening? Right, because working class women come with alcoholic husbands. You know what? Because we talked about this. We talked about not wandering off again. I, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do with his addiction. It just makes me feel weak. What does anything I said have to do with police? Or is police some kind of disco phenomenon as well? I haven't seen him for... Well, to hell with him. Yes, right. He wasn't missing anyway. I'm sure he'll be home. Thank you. Please do even though I'm sure he will return home by himself. I'm still sure of that. <laughs> it is. Money? Does the working class ever have any money? No, sorry. I don't have anything to spare. No, 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 no. I'm not missing my money. End of story. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Go ask for an investment. You're a keen observer. I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. Great. Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. Wonderful. The store is open. Please. Let's do. Yes, a sci-fi. All right, go ahead. Do you have any questions? What kind of questions? Well, he's slightly chubby. What I was trying to say before is that he is a little bit chubby, that's all. I didn't mean anything offensive. It's his cool jacket. God knows it's too cold to run around in this, but he refuses to change. Well, what can you do? I hope that at least that extra lining helps him keep warm at night. I wouldn't like him to catch cold. Hmm? Oh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. wonderful. I will, of course, officer. As I said, it's probably nothing. Some things are, officer. No, you're not. Don't think that. You're the cockatoo who offered to find my stupid husband. Let's leave it at that. No, you're not. Don't think that way. You're just a regular talkative cockatoo. And let's leave it at that, okay? I have a strange cop offering to find my stupid husband. For today. Good. Hello, I'm Billy. Would you like something to drink? Tea? Lemonade? We're out of coffee. I was supposed to get some tomorrow. Is this about Victor, my husband? Is he in some kind of trouble again? I can come pick him up in the station if that's what. No, this is something much worse. Is he in a hospital? How bad is it? I don't think I introduced myself properly. I'm Billy. Would you like something to drink? Tea? Lemonade? We're out of coffee. It's you from the book stand. It's you from the book stand. Did you come to bring my cockatoo back? Sorry, I'm rambling. It's just that Victor often gets into all kinds of trouble. So, how can I help you? No, I'm Billy. Is this about my husband, Victor? I can come pick him up in the station if that's what. It's me, Victor. And the kids here, we have two daughters, Jenny and Jolie. The girls are staying at their friend's place tonight. And Victor is out. No, why? Do you have any news? As I already told you, he has a problem with drinking. And so he disappears every now and then. He has a problem with drinking. And so he disappears every now and then. He's probably in the parks drinking with his friends. I sent him to the library a few days ago, but I guess something came up. No, I guess I'll find out when he decides to come back home. It shouldn't be long from now. He's never gone for more than a few days. His old leather jacket. Oh, it's in Jamrock. The one at Mayro Street. 
I don't know the official name. Say what? Do what? Excuse me, what? What did you say? Expired. Like a milk carton. Where? Did he run away? Oh, just tell me what happened to Victor. Yes, I, I'm sorry, I just need a... I don't know what to say. Oh, but he was just what happened to him. Tell me, why? It's that bad, and you just found him there? Lying in the cold. How long had he been there? Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Where is he? Can I see him? No, I'll call you if something comes up. I'm still a bit... What? I guess what I want to know is, how did he die? All right. I'll call them. You haven't even taken him away? And who should I contact? All right, I'll call the RCM then. A brain condition? Yes, that's what happened to Victor too. I can't. I can't believe he's still there. This is madness. No, I meant where is his body? I'll take it from here. Thank you. Oh, oh. But... He was just, what happened to him? What did you say? Was he drunk? I see. And you just found him there, lying in the cold. How long had he been there? Yes, thank you. No, no, I just need to tell my girls. No, I'll do it myself. I just could. That's probably the right thing. Thank you, my handkerchief. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Where is he? Can I see him? No, I'll call you if something comes up. I'm still... Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll call if... I see. Well, thank you for... Telling me. Thank you for telling me, officer. Jolie is 16 and Jenny is turning 18 next month. Just to return a book of mine? Why? Why all those questions, detective? Did he, I think it was, uh, Thibault's The Glinting Curve? Meat was pretty good. Yes, um, it's just your average brown leather jacket, but he bought it as a teenager, so... No, well, the lining is hand-sewn, it's blue. I tried to make the thing more weatherproof since he's running around with it in the middle of winter. Yes, the lining is hand-sewn, it's blue. I tried to make the thing more weatherproof since he's running around with it in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. They came home later. They're good girls. How have I been? You're not here to discuss me. What is this about, officer? People got to eat. What is this about? Why are you suddenly asking me about my cooking? I think, yes, if that's the one on Moreau. God, should I call them? Should I tell them to come home? No, no. I just need to tell my girls. I'll take it from here. Thank you.